of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May your Spirit, Lord, guide me everywhere I go. Make me a channel through which your blessings flow. For our goodnight message on this eve of Pentecost of Saturday the 27th of May 2023 broadcasting from the Salesian community of Rundu Namibia by your servant Father Eustace Siame a Salesian of Don Bosco we listen to this Holy Spirit message entitled How to deepen our relationship with the holy spirit may your spirit lord guide me everywhere i go make me a channel through which your blessings flow may your spirit lord guide me everywhere i go make me a channel through which your blessings flow Remember our focus this week has been on the Holy Spirit and tonight we enter into the vigil for Pentecost the birthday of the church the harvest of the fruits of the Holy Spirit that is exactly what we are celebrating tonight that is exactly what we are going to celebrate tomorrow hence concluding the easter tide we have to understand that the love of god is the foundation for everything and the communion of the holy spirit is what will change everything many know about grace and love but very few practice communion with the spirit Remember there is no way your Christianity will deepen if the Holy Spirit doesn't have a special place in your life. He waits to be wanted, he longs to be welcomed, he needs to be hosted. Many people invite the Holy Spirit but few know how to host him. to start fellowshiping with the holy spirit we must first see him as a person and i have been emphasizing this i have been stressing this he is one of the three persons of the holy trinity if you want to walk in the holy spirit start with talking to the holy spirit throughout the day address him welcome him thank him and worship him You should not feel guilty for not spending time with the Holy Spirit but you should feel thirsty he wants relationships not rules therefore when you fellowship with the Holy Spirit start with the awareness that he is with you then turn attention to him and then lift your hearts with affection towards him your relationship can't go higher than your obedience to the Holy Spirit Bible instructs us not to grieve the Holy Spirit Ephesians chapter 4 verse 30 One of the main ways the Holy Spirit is grieved is when we are disobedient to his word and his leading If you take the risk of obedience you will experience the reward in that relationship no risk no reward no relationship This does not mean though that we have to listen to everything that comes to our head The Holy Spirit uses our spirit to communicate to us but his voice will never contradict his word. The word says to follow your gut. The Bible says to follow your God. That's a difference. By obeying the promptings of the Holy Spirit, we allow him to develop within us his fruit. His fruit is his attitudes toward us. They can't be developed if we are disobedient to him or if we grieve him. And we want to say Lord we are ready to be obedient to your spirit, especially as we celebrate this birthday of our church, the church that was born of the Holy Spirit. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. 
as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good night, as it dreams. Same to you, Father. Your compassion to the abandoned, to the unloved and neglected, your protection. And may all those in sorrow and in grief find consolation in you and believe. May your spirit, Lord, guide me everywhere I go. Make me a channel through which your blessings flow. May your spirit, Lord, guide me everywhere I go. Make me a channel through which your blessings flow. Channel through which your blessings flow.